So now we're going to open a bottle for you. Mm -hmm. This time using a wine extractor called the Asso. <laughs> you, this... you should be careful for the pronunciation, right? <laughs> <laughs> uh, he said it, not me. <laughs> Notice that there's no corkscrew here. So no way of inserting this into the cork. Mm -hmm. The idea here is to insert this around the cork so that the cork winds up inside like this. Now, why would one want to do that? It seems like the cork makes, corkscrew makes so much more sense. Well, if you have a very long cork that's been in the bottle for a long time and you are concerned that you will break the cork extracting it with a corkscrew or if you have tried to extract it with a corkscrew and you have seen that the cork is starting to break or crumble then you're in better shape to withdraw the cork corkscrew immediately mm -hmm. so that there's still a reasonable amount of adhesion between the cork and the bottle uh, the neck and then you insert this down and wiggle it around until the cork is fitting snugly right here and then twist it and take it out. Jay will demonstrate it, okay. but he'll first take the capsule off. Yeah, that's uh, the inconvenience of this also because that's you, right. yeah. you need... Uh, An inconvenience of the also is you need something to remove the capsule. Yeah. You can sort of saw away at the capsule with one of the arms of the also, but it's inconvenient and difficult. Mm -hmm. So probably you need one of those um, sommelier corkscrews mm -hmm. or a small knife mm -hmm. um, or Caption. The, there's a special <laughs> little device um, that that fits over the head of a bottle mm -hmm. the neck of the bottle and it has two sometimes three very small circular blades and you clamp it it's, it's spring loaded and you clamp it around the bottle mm -hmm. and you screw it like this and then pull the uh, capsule off. It takes off just this part of the capsule and not the bottom part of the capsule. And then you can use the ASO. Jay, instead of using that device, will use the blade from the sommelier's corkscrew. Yeah. Have at it, <laughs> maestro. <laughs> you always have to pay attention to hold the top of the bottle uh, with uh, your thumb, right? Otherwise, you can cut yourself. It happens to the beginners. Huh. <laughs> Maybe you don't remember that moment, right? <laughs> I remember when they first started to use tin on wine bottles when they decided that lead was bad for you. And with tin, no matter how careful you were, you, you pretty much always cut yourself. Oh, really? Yeah. Because the tin itself is very sharp. Yeah, very right? sharp. Okay, so watch what Jay does. See that this uh, Aza mm -hmm. has a longer tine and a shorter tine. Mm -hmm. So Jay will start by inserting the longer tine. Mm -hmm. Like this. And usually you this you use this for uh, the weaker cork, the weaker right? cork, the longer cork, mm -hmm. the cork that's starting to break. Mm -hmm. And then, and then once it's pretty much as far in as it will go, you you turn it and and raise it slightly. This is a miracle, right? And there you have it. Out comes the cork. I love this uh, last part. You see, and the beauty of that is mm -hmm. that the cork is um, almost completely inside the tines. Mm -hmm. And that is how come, if you've got a cork that would break, mm -hmm. Um, with a corkscrew that it won't break with the good arso because the arso will go completely around, grab the whole cork all the way through to the bottom of the cork. And uh, the beauty of the arso 
You don't see any hole in the ah, cord. No, it doesn't really matter whether you see that <laughs> hole or not, once you've got the, cork, the corkscrew out. But the point is you didn't make a hole. Mm -hmm. And you didn't make a hole with the corkscrew. Sometimes you push the corkscrew all the way into the wine. Mm -hmm. So now you've got the end of the corkscrew in the wine, so mm -hmm. you've got metal touching the wine. That's not the end of the world. Mm -hmm. And possibly even a little bit of cork. Mm -hmm. So the ASO is a great idea. That's just not as efficient and not nearly as quick mm -hmm. as the corkscrew. But uh, you can wait uh, for that little moment. <laughs> if you are opening wine at your table, of course you can wait for that moment. Uh -huh. If you are a som in a busy restaurant, less so. Ah, that is true. Yeah. 이럴 때 와인 네이버 밴드를 놀러 오시면 와인을 잘 몰라도 편하고 싸게 살수 있는 정보가 많이 올라와 있습니다. 가입하는 게 싫으시면 greatwine.co.kr로 꼭 놀러 오세요.